walk around video for you so you can see that car that we're talking about. Here we go. So this is it. The 2015 RX with the saddle interior. I'm going to kind of go up close on the paint since it's actually sunny here. Hopefully this is showing up where you can see all the sparkle and the pearlescent in the paint. It is really, really beautiful. So 15 has the redesigned grille. They went to this in 2013. LED wrapped lights, fog lights in the front here. And then I'm just gonna do kind of just a walk around here so you can see the whole car. These are the 18 inch wheels that come standard on the vehicle. And then around in the back, it also has LED lighting chrome accents. And over here you kind of see it in the shade. And then this is the one with the saddle interior and also the navigation system. So you can kind of see there's some other light coming in the car, but I think you can get an idea of what the saddle interior really looks like here. It's really, really beautiful with this color combination. And then it also has a little saddle on the doors. So it's kind of like saddle in black all throughout the car. I'll kind of show you here in the back as well. So the saddle. Also on this door as well. And then a little wood trim. That's actually on all the doors. So this is kind of sticking up by the front. And I'll go up there and just kind of show you a little close up of all the buttons too. So you have memory seating over here on the door that keeps memory of your seat, steering wheel, and side view mirrors. A lot of the same kind of features that you guys have in the ES350 that you have. Um, it, uh, so then over here you have your, let me move my camera a little bit, the side view mirror controls. It's got this, this auto feature that you can um, leave it in auto mode and when you lock the car, the side mirrors pull in and when you unlock it, they go back out. But then you could also hit this button right here and manually do it. And this is what happens when you manually push that button. You could just pull the mirrors in whenever you want. And then, of course, unlock and lock for your whole car. One touch, open, close for all your windows. On the left side of the steering wheel are your audio controls for your radio and CD player. On the right side of the steering wheel are Bluetooth controls. Um, this is for your, uh, for your cell phone to pick up and hang up your cell phone. These little buttons right over here um, change some information in your instrument panel right where it says cruising range in front of you. If I move these little arrows up and down, it'll change the information to show you when you're in eco mode, your current miles per gallon, how many more miles you can go on the tank of gas, average speed, all kinds of stuff there. And then um, voice command button that lets you access um, things on your phone. And when your phone is hooked up, you also have a feature in the car called Bluetooth audio. And that is by hitting this media button over here, the car will actually play any sound that your phone makes. So if you've got music on your phone or there's any apps that you like, um, you can hit that button and it'll play play them right, on, right through the speaker system in the car. Um, and then of course the radio button would flip you up to the radio screen and then you've got radio information right up on your, right up on your navigation screen. So while we're looking at the nav screen, I'll just kind of show you a couple of other little things. Um, and here's the main menu for it and it actually does give you a lot of options if you like to use the mouse. You can mostly do the mouse and um, you know like click on the climate button here and actually you know change the temperature and stuff that way but there's also buttons on the car as well. Um, the main thing that you come in here for is the destination button that actually lets you activate the navigation system and type addresses in. Um, and then when you are also in the car if you put the car in reverse the screen whole screen here turns into a backup camera. And that uh, bottom part is the bumper, that black part that you see at the bottom, and it just stays like that the whole time that you're going backwards. And then, so we'll go into the navigation obviously a little bit more. Um, after you take delivery of the car, I'll kind of go into a little bit more details with that. Your climate controls are right here. You do have dual climate controls. So you can have different temperatures on either side of the car. Um, this is actually the shifter. In the ES, it's down a little bit. They've kind of moved it up on the instrument panel to kind of make it out of your way for the parts here where your arms are. So um, a little bit different in the shifting. When you pull it into drive, you keep it to the right here in drive. And if you push it over to the left, that actually puts you in a sequential shifting mode where it puts a number over here and then you can upshift and downshift if you really want to. Um, or if you just keep it to the right, it puts the car in drive and you just obviously drive it like the normal automatic. Um, this little thing right here, oh, put the car back in park. <laughs> this uh, little thing right here is the actual mouse that 
that you use to move things around on the navigation screen. So I don't know if you noticed before, it wasn't touch screen when I was doing it. It's actually really deep into the, this cave here. And the reason why they have it like that is so that when you have um, light coming in from the moon roof, it doesn't drown out the screen and, and you know kind of blur it out where you can't see it. So what this little thing down here does, um, you just kind of move your fingers around. It moves, you can kind of see that box moving on there. And then if I want to click on something, I push down onto this here, and that's how I select things on the screen. So it's really easy. You just kind of move it around and tap down um, when you want to select something. Cup holders, wood trim, of course, on that. And then heated seats and air-conditioned seats. I have the air condition on because, believe it or not, it's like almost 90 degrees here in Wisconsin today. Um, heated seats on that side in the middle would be turned off. And then on the blue side, it actually blows air-conditioned air through the perforated holes in the leather. And then these two little buttons that are right here, that are right under your navigation control, this actually allows you to put the car in all-wheel drive. Um, the car likes to flip into all-wheel drive when it wants to, but you can push this button here and uh, make it lock itself in four-wheel drive, and it will do that up to 15 miles an hour. Um, you're maybe using it to like get out of a ditch or something like that, and then the car will actually do what it wants to do over 15 miles an hour. And then this is a button that turns off and on your traction control. Um, it's good to keep your traction control on because it keeps your wheels from spinning, but if you um, did hit this off, it would actually say track off in front of you the whole time that you're driving because the car doesn't really want you to drive that way because um, it keeps your wheels from spinning into the good thing. The only reason why you'd want to turn it off is if maybe, again, you were stuck in a ditch and you needed to kind of rock yourself out of something. Um, otherwise, in here, you've got a little storage compartment. There are plugs right here, USB and auxiliary plugs, and then a plug like this, like the round opening kind of a plug. Like us that used to be like the cigarette lighter and you could plug like a cell phone charger in it so you got one of those and then you've got usb and auxiliary hopefully you can see that so when you plug stuff into that then you can also hit this media button and it will display whatever you have plugged in up on the screen and then you can use your radio buttons to skip ahead and all that kind of fun stuff here is the back of the car again. That little center part comes down and there's cup holders in it. There is also a power lift gate in the vehicle. There's a button up here by the steering wheel that I can push that will open and close that back hatch. There's also a button on the key fob that does it. And in 2013, they made a change to the engine where this car actually now takes regular fuel. So that's really awesome. And I don't know, I can't really think of anything else. I probably missed something. I just kind of wanted to send you a video so you could just see what we're talking about. And I hope that this is your new car. Let me know.